In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how to calculate the outstanding balance. But I would like to mention that we're going to be using the present value method. Remember, there are two ways to do outstanding balance. You can use the present value method or the future value method. If you do not use the present value method, then rather skip this video and look at my video on future value. In this question, we have a person who takes out a loan that needs to be repaid in five years and they give us the interest rate. Everything looks good, it's easy, they're not, they're not making late payments or anything like that. So, we, so question A says determine the monthly payment. So this is very straightforward. We know that this person wants 100,000 Rand and it's a loan, guys. Do When you take out a loan, you don't get the money in the future. You get the money on the day that you take out the loan. That is called the present. This is why we're using the present value formula. So we can say 100,000 equals to the monthly payment, which we don't know. The interest rate is 16%, which I like to say 0, 0,16 over 12. And then the number of payments will just be 5 times 12, which is 60. Now, there are multiple ways to get X alone over here. One way, and, and as, as I said, there are so many ways, you could just type all of this on your calculator. Some students like to take the zero, the, this part over here. They take it up. I actually do it that way, but for some reason, I just feel like doing it like this in this lesson. Now, you don't want to round off when you do this method. So we'll say 100,000 to 41.12170062x. Then you can get x alone. On the Casio calculators, you could just say 100,000 divided by answer, which will be your previous answer. And we should get an answer of 2,431 rand and 81 cents if we round to two decimal places. Now we are going to work out the balance outstanding. Now if you use the present value method, you literally just use the present value formula and your N value will be the number of payments that you still need to make. Guys, that is important that you hear what I just said. It is the number of payments that you still need to make. Not the number of payments that have already happened, it's the number of payments that you still need to make. Okay, so what we do is we go say P equals two. Now we can use our monthly payment that we've calculated in the previous question, and then the interest rate is 16%. That all stays the same. Now, it's a five year question, but they wanna know what is the balance outstanding after two years. So guys, how many, years do we still have? Well, we still have another three years. And so three times 12 is 36. And that's it. The present value method for outstanding balance is quite an easy one. But some students do prefer the future value method. All right. And what this tells us is that the present value is going to be 69,169.94. And that would be Rand. So what that technically means is that that's how much money this person still owes on their loan. That is how much they still need to pay to the bank.